Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Vieron and today we're here to talk about potential gear that you can get once you hit level 20, from early level 20 to mid level 20, we're going to talk about all the pieces of gear you can get, aiming towards all of that end game gear, which is stuff like the Greaster Horns, the Rib Gauge, or whatever your character desires. But anyway, this is where collection is going to come into play again. If you missed the last video, I did weapon sets and which weapon sets would help you through the progression of your character in order to get you to end game kind of smoothly and allows you to put out the most DPS. So first of all, this is more of an honorable mention in terms of uh, gear, but go to the seal vendor, which is in the enclave. It's in this corner here of the marketplace. Go to the seal vendor and you can pick up any of this gear here. This gear will carry you through a lot of the content, if not most of the content. It'll, it might even carry you through Avernus, which is where the tier 3 gear is, the hunt gear is. Um, but however, I believe all this gear is changing in the new mod, so I will up this, uh, update this video accordingly. So this is only going to be a quick video. I don't plan on it being 12 minutes long like the last one. However, if this video does help you out, then make sure you hit the like button. It really helps out a lot. Make sure you sub subscribe. We are growing every single day. And, um, yeah, so, I didn't record yesterday because I've got a migraine. I've still got a migraine. I had a migraine. And, yeah, I just want to get through this video right now. So, collections. The first campaign you're going to go through is likely going to be... Under mounting. So let's look at the collections. As I said, guys, make sure you use these collections because it can tell you all the gear that drop inside that campaign. And here we go. So we're not looking for spies. Uh, we're not really looking for protege, even though protege has helped a lot of people. We are just looking for the antiquities, which are here. So these are the antiquities, where do these drop? So once you've done the undermounting campaign, you've completed it, there are four stages to it. But once you've completed it, you can start doing master expeditions and this is essentially how you get all of this um, gear. You can get three expeditions a day and a chance of dropping all this. So once you've done the undermounting, you're gonna unlock Stardock. And again, some of these can drop inside of Stardock as well. So let's have a look at the gear. We're just going to go over. We're not going to read them all because that will take longer. But as you can see on this Trap of the Twilight's Hood, when you kill an enemy, your power is increased by 5%. It's an awesome starting out uh, helmet. Uh, that's an action point game one. That's a defense one. So you've got all this gear. If you guys want to know what all these pieces of gear do, then make sure you check out the collections on your own characters. But as you can see, the Trapper of the Twilight's Braces, some people use these today. But your encounter powers do 3% more damage. And this is one of them pieces of gear that is sought after today. I want to say the Warlocks or the Wizards use it sometimes. And then you've got here, you've got these Braces. Which are your at will powers do 3% more damage. And you can just go through all of this gear here and see which is going to help you because what you are aiming for is Avernus. However, there is Valenhas to go inside of Avernus. So Valenhas is... It's one of them places where you can get really awesome gear from Juma. And anyone who doesn't know what Juma is, I'll link a video down in the description below. But as you progress through Valenhas, you're going to get this currency called chaotic writings you turn 100 of them into juma you can turn in 10,000 if you want but you turn in 100 you get one bag and inside that bag it could be companions could be rough astral diamonds potions and also gear and this is the gear you're going to want to be aiming for now you're trying to get your character strong enough to wear he can go through Valenhas, she can go through Valenhas, or whatever, um, without any kind of a problem, which is why I said do the undermounting first. However, as we will see, 
when I find it. Is this it? No, these are the Avernus ones. These are the ones you get from the hunt. Which are not the ones that we're looking for. Oh, here they are. As you can see, we've got the Van Braces, which um, helps the damage resistance and the damage based on if you're hitting or getting hit. Uh, we've got cling the Clingy Kill. We've got all these pieces of gear, but you're going to want the Van Braces if you're a DPS. And also, the Rusted Iron Leggings increases damage dealt by 5%, decreases incoming healing by 25%. A lot of healers can handle it. It's, an, it's no big deal. And then you've got the Fancy Jewelist Mask of Korma. When in combat with only one enemy, your power is increased by 5 thousand and look at the item level on it you've got 1200 item level this is the gear that you are aiming for once you've got this gear once you're in Valenhas once you've completed Valenhas you can then go into Avernus once you're inside of Avernus you can go and do the hunt gear which at this minute in time is best in slot some of it so I'd like to think in terms of gear, maybe not rings, in terms of gear I have got best in slot. Um, I'm missing some boss gear. Uh, as you can see here, the boots, these are from Volta Stars. These are hardcore Volta Stars. If you're watching this video, you're nowhere near this. And here you're looking for the wrist guards, which I don't have because I keep freezing. But again, it drops in Volta Stars, so it's pretty simple. This rib cage is from Avernus. It's a tier 3 hunt. And it's RNG to get it. It's pretty crappy. People have done 20 of these hunts and they still haven't got it. And then you've got Garistro, which is a tier 1 hunt um, called Whitehorn. Again, you can see, if you just do some Google searching, you can see a hunt map and where you need to farm. But this is the gear you're aiming for. As I said, the two pieces drop in Avernus, uh, which is the campaign after Valenhas. And then you've got the Risk Guards. And the Wasteland Wanderers, their Volta Star, hardcore Volta Stars from the mini boss. A lot of people just do the mini boss one farm, and that's essentially how they get a lot of the gear. But that is why it is. I mean, that's all there is to talk about. I wish they would update the Chult gear. The Chult gear was awesome. Um, those of you who remember the Chult gear and the Barovia gear, shout out to you guys, you're the real OGs. But yeah that's about it make sure you get yourself into the uh, expeditions a lot of gear will drop and then make sure you get yourself into valen Um if you want to see all the weapon sets that you can farm i will also link my previous video down in the description below let me know if this helps you out or whether you want a more detailed video um i read all the comments i reply to all the comments but right now i've got to go my head is killing Gotta go take some painkillers, but leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.